45 TV Institute of Laughter promo taping. Quiet on the set. Okay, Tim, let's try it again from the top. Action. So this is 45 TV. Cut. That's not quite right. Reset again. Action. So this is the Institute of Laughter. I thought it would be bigger. Cut. You forgot to read the script, didn't you? Yeah, is that a problem? Yes, it's a problem. Last Man Standing, weeknights at 8 and 8.30 on 45 TV. Hello, it's Amy James from the Midday Show on K102 here with St. Jude fan jam artist, Frank Ray. Hi, how's everyone doing? Hey. I'm excited, thank you for having me. We're so excited to have you here. I love your song, love hearing it on K102. Country look good on you. I love that y'all are playing it. Oh, yeah, it's so, so. good. <laughs> it's thank so you, I good. appreciate that. All right. Before we get into just a little like fun thing I have planned, okay. I have to I have to ask you this because I was reading up a, a little bit of information about you today, and okay. you know you had this entire career and you were a police officer yes, before you started just like saying I'm going to do country music. That's right. There are so many people who they want to do something or they feel like they have a passion for something, but for whatever reason, they just don't go through and actually like take that step. Right. And for you to have it like <laughs> taken that step, that's a big deal. What made yeah. you just decide to like, I'm going for it? My wife, my wife made me do yeah. it actually. That's, that's the right answer. We'll see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> Interview's over. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I for, you know, it's, music has always been my life's passion. Right. It's always been what I wanted to do. Uh, and, you know, I was gigging on weekends, Thursday, Friday, and Saturdays that I had off from work, yep. which is always interesting to you arrest somebody one night and see them at the bar the next night. You're like, Did that oh. happen? Oh, yeah, all the time. Oh, my. All the time. But I knew we were onto something good when they, uh, they didn't want to beat me up. They would know, rather buy me a beer or something. I was like, all right, cool, we're, we're onto something. Good sign. But uh, we started kind of gaining a little notoriety, and my wife was just like, hey, this is, you know, I see that spark, and I know you want to yep. do it. You ought to try it, or you're going to regret it for the rest of your life. And I, for one, I'm not going to have you resent me or you know, the family for not going out and pursuing your dreams. And so she's like, give it a go. We'll live on uh, ramen for as long as we have to. And on salsa, because your wife <laughs> ramen and salsa. salsa, right? She does, yeah, yeah, yeah she does. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's one of those things coming from New Mexico, and we moved to Tennessee. Yeah. We just, we were missing that spice. And so it was just something that we started doing at the house, and my wife being in marketing and being the genius that she is, she was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jar this stuff up and ruin everyone's night with salsa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Christmas is officially one week away. Your song is called Country Look Good On You. So uh -oh. I want to play a little game because okay. there are things you can always find out about an artist online, right? Like the, the A, B, C, D, you know, everybody's got it. The right height. Right, the, you know, yeah, all yeah, the sure. stuff. <laughs> um, so we're going to play a game called Is It a Good Look or Is It a Bad Look? Oh and it's the goodness. Christmas edition. So okay. this is totally your opinion. If you okay. have any like side notes or stories, feel free to add them in. Gotcha. All right. Okay. So a good look or a bad look? Putting your Christmas tree up before December 1st. That is a bad look in my opinion, good look in my wife's. <laughs> that's, that's exactly how it is in our house. That's what it yep, is. That's yep. what it is. So who wins? She does, every time. Yep. yep. The tree goes wins. up before Thanksgiving? All the time. Mm. All the time. I love that for her. <laughs> uh, a family wearing matching outfits in their holiday cards they send out. That's a good look. Yeah. Uh, we do it. <laughs> Again, my wife wins every time, <laughs> but uh, we usually do it like she buys uh, Christmas pajamas. Yeah. And so, uh, you yeah, know, it, it's something that kind of grew on me. Yep. I try to pretend like I hate it, but I actually love it. I love that you admitted that. <laughs> uh, having an advent calendar for a pet so they get to open like a little present yeah. every, yeah. Uh, That's a good look. It's we, a yeah, good we, look. We, we right. love our animals, yeah. So they get spoiled just as much as the kids do. <laughs> I can't believe how many people are doing that now. Yeah. And uh, I fully support it's it. It's a real thing. If we're going to open up the, like, the Reese's Pieces ones or something like that, they got to get something. They got to get something. Come on. All right. A good look or a bad look? Uh, getting a real Christmas tree. Oh, it's a bad look. It's just too much. It's too much in the house. You got all the pine needles everywhere. It just doesn't work. If you don't water it every day, it dies. You have a cat. It's oh, terrible. The cat. Yeah. I've got four fake ones, so <laughs> that's yeah. what she said. That's what I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why, it just is. Uh, what about incorporating your family's recipes into Christmas dinner? Um, depends, if it's within the family, it's a good look. It's a bad, you know, outside the family, it's a bad look bad because look. you don't want to give away those family secrets. Right, yeah. what's the one thing that you guys always have every year, like the tradition? Tamales. The, oh, tamales, yeah. yeah, yeah, tamales, yeah. you know what I'm talking about. I know, I yeah, know tamales, real good. yeah. People are just like, are you doing a turkey or, I don't know, no, tamales. So that's like the main entree. That's the thing, yeah. Love it. Yeah, I can eat like 50 of them. Incredible. 
Frey Grey, the eater of tamales. The eater of tamales. We should okay. have done that next time, tamale eating contest. Oh, gotcha. I'm ready. All okay. right. I'll Do wear it. stretchy pants. <laughs> um, okay, two left. Buying gift cards instead of presents. And I put this one yeah. in here because I know you have a 15 year old uh, and I have some nieces and nephews yeah. around that age and they're like, just give me cash. That's exactly right. It's a good yeah. look. It's a good look, especially right. with like nieces and nephews. You're just like, here. I don't, I couldn't think of anything. Yeah, I'm get what you want. You're okay yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and the last one is re-gifting. A good look or a bad <laughs> oh, look? That's a bad look. <laughs> that's a bad look, although I'm guilty of doing it a lot. Yeah. But it's still a bad look. It kind of goes with me. Frank Ray, bad look. <laughs> Marketing, no. it's a, my best PR person. All right. <laughs> no, I think being honest is a good look. Oh, see? There. There we go. We I win. We it around. We won the game. Spin it. Spin it. <laughs> Master of spin. Oh, we got Frank Ray here, Thank and you. he's coming up in just a couple minutes at uh, Cable Note 2 St. Jude Fan Jam. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Amy. Appreciate you all.